Hello kids. I am Miss Sandra. Today I will teach you division of 3 and 4 digit numbers by 1 digit number. So, let us begin. Divide 512 by 8. Children, there are a few steps to simple division. Let us see these steps while finding the quotient for 512 divided by 8. Firstly, compare the digits. We compare the leftmost digit of the dividend with the divisor. Here, the leftmost digit is the digit in the hundreds place, that is 5. 5 is smaller than 8 so we consider the digits 51 together here 51 is greater than 8 so by using the table of 8 let us find the product which is equal to or less than and nearest to the digits 51 of the dividend the nearest product is 48 as 6 into 8 is equal to 48 write 6 in the tens place in the quotient and the number 48 under 51 now subtract 48 from 51 which is equal to 3 next we need to compare 3 and 8 here 3 is smaller than 8 so we bring down the ones that is 2 and get the number 32 here 32 is greater than 8 So we can divide it by 8. 4 into 8 is equal to 32. Write 4 in the ones place in the quotient and the number 32 under 32. Now subtract 32 from 32 which is equal to Zero. Now it is time to check our calculation using the following relation: dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Five hundred twelve is equal to eight into sixty-four plus zero. That is five hundred twelve. Plus zero. So here we get five hundred twelve is equal to five hundred twelve. Hence our division is correct. How about solving one more example? But this time we will take a four-digit number. It would be interesting. What is six thousand three hundred twenty-six? Divided by two. Children, here also we will use the same process explained in the previous example. We start with comparing the digit in the thousands place, that is six with two. Yes, six is greater than two, and therefore we can divide six by two. Here we use the table of two such that the product is equal to or less than and nearest to six. Three into two is equal to six. Hence, we write three above the six and the number six in the thousands column under six. Subtract six 
from 6. The remainder 0 is written in the thousands column. Now bring down the next digit, that is 3, and write it beside 0. What do we do next? Back to comparison. 3 is greater than 2, so we can divide 3 by 2. 1 into 2 is 2. Hence, we write 1 above 3 and 2 below 3. Now, by subtracting, we get the remainder 1. Now, we bring down the next digit, that is 2. Therefore, we get the number 12. We compare 12 and 2. 12 is greater than 2, so we can divide it by 2. As 6 into 2 is equal to 12, we write the number 6 above 2 in the quotient and the number 12 under 12. Subtract 12 from 12, which gives us 0 which we write in the tens column. Now, bring down the next digit, that is 6, and write it beside 0. Here, 6 is greater than 2, and therefore, we can divide 6 by 2. As we know 3 into 2 is equal to 6, we write 3 above the 6 in the quotient and the number 6 in the 1's column under 6. Subtract 6 from 6. The remainder 0 is written in the 1's column. Our division is complete and it is time to check our calculations. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. 6,326 is equal to 2 into 3,163 plus 0. That is 6,326 plus 0. So, here we get 6,326 is equal to 6,326. This proves that we have solved the question correctly. It wasn't that tough to solve division of 3 and 4 digit numbers, was it?